What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bradley Hill and today we're gonna do a breakdown from Polaris. Guys, I had a lot of requests uh, to break down the match that I had at Polaris in the first round of the tournament. And uh, I had a lot of questions, one on the guard passing, one on the takedown, and one on the finish itself, how I was able to uh, set up the rear naked choke from the arm triangle and everything else. So we're going to go into details throughout that, but we're going to start off with the takedown. So essentially, I, it was a very simple pickup uh, of the leg. I'm posted with my left hand to reach the inside of the knee. The real part that people were intrigued by was uh, the guillotine defense and the uh, lift in the person because of the hand placement on the back of the neck. So if we essentially take a step backwards and we look at how to escape a guillotine to start off with, if I've got, my partner has this position from here, before he can reach into a high elbow, see, if his elbow starts coming up in front of my shoulder blade, now I'm in trouble. You see? If this arm isn't there, I can wrap my hand around towards this side, block, walk to that direction, and then start coming into some body lock finishes. But essentially what I need to be able to do when I feel this guillotine is I need to be able to step and get above this shoulder right away to stop that, uh, this arm from getting into position. So I don't want this forearm to check against my scapulates. Now I'm in trouble. Now I've got to start coming back and bringing my head out towards the other side. So as soon as I'm feeling that, I'm reaching up towards the head and trying to get into that situation. So when we came into the single leg step with the right leg forward, I was here with Shane, I'm pushing, I level change and pick. And once I got to here, I went to switch immediately to a knee tap so my right hand went up to the head while my left hand stayed at the left. To get an easy finish there. That's a, a finish of the single leg that I get a lot of, uh, a lot of finishes with. Now what ends up happening is Shane uh, hooked onto my head, grabbed on nice and tight. And then that's when he started to get into uh, the guillotine threat. So I post on the shoulder, I pick the leg. And again with this entry, because of this post on the shoulder, I'm transferring Tyrone's weight into his back leg, so this lift becomes nice and easy. So just a post, pick. I get to here, I switch to this, he grabs onto my head to maintain balance, he pulls my head down to attack the guillotine. Now my hand is already up here, so there's no way for him to move into a high elbow guillotine, so I'm not in any initial threat. Now because I'm in the situation I've got a hold of his head, I'm nice and deep, all I've got to do at this point is step in a little bit deeper and lift. Now from here, what ends up happening was he closed his guard around me and we dropped towards the mat for the finish. Typically speaking, I'm going to try to switch into more of a double leg and land on the side controller if I can do it perfect. But obviously we're, we're in a fight between two people at this point. So Shane obviously wants to get to the close guard with the guillotine, but the threat is neutralized by having a hold of that head at the beginning. So again, back to the beginning. If it's just a standard guillotine threat here, I'm wrapping over that shoulder. You see? One, posting around to the other side, introducing a knee block, and coming in with a body lock finish. When I've come into the single, and he grabs my neck, I'm coming up into position from here, you see? So wrap the head, hold on nice and tight, step in, you see? Once I step in, I've got my hips underneath me for me to allow lift and then slam down. And it was off of that lift that he opted to take the clothes guard where I than get uh, slammed into side control essentially. So one more time. Then I'm into position, ready to begin passing the guard. I've got top position, escape the guillotine, no more threat of that, and we've got our takedown. So that was my breakdown of the takedown in my fire Polaris. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, subscribe, 2020 style, subscribe. Um, and if you have any more topics you want me to cover, drop it down in the comments below, give it a little type, and then I'll be sure to add some more content to the channel. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.